On Friday, members of the various arms of the security forces wrapped up a week of training in life-saving skills. More in this report. The grounds of the Defense Force camp at Springfield were buzzing with activity on Friday as members of the Defense Force Infantry, Fire Department and Coast Guard were among those taking part in a field exercise in medical combat training. The training was done in partnership with the United States Virgin Islands and Major Cassandra Scotland Brooks of the Virgin Islands National Guard explained that the purpose of the field exercise was to test what they had learned throughout the week. Everything that we taught or was given to them this week, they're just going to show us um, in a practical exercise what they learn, how they're going to use it. Um, so we're just using about an hour, two hours, and we're just wrapping up everything that we did during the week um, and in a field exercise. It's fun, it's interesting, it's exciting. Major Scotland Brooks also spoke of the importance of state partnerships between the USVI and the Federation. State partnership programs mean we just partner up with host Caribbean island nations and um, we provide support, we provide education, we provide training um, for those island entities that request it. Um, so in right now in St. Kitts, what we're doing this week, we um, provided a medical combat mission. Captain Jason Malone of the St. Kitts Nevis Defense Force said the training will be useful to the participants when they're both on and off duty. From this training, the much persons you would have trained in this area, the better it is for the Defence Force. This training applies not only for when you're in the Defence Force, but it could be at home, it could be passing, maybe an accident. So the more persons that we have that is trained and have these skills, is more important for us. Fire Officer Makimba Foy said he found the training to be quite informative. I do think this is a very interesting course that I attended. It helped us um, gain more knowledge about the more medical part in the field and helped our day to day basis. So I really think this was a very interesting course. Fifteen persons took part in the training and the topics covered basic life support skills. It's hoped that the training received could be passed on to the members of the general public. Jason Davis for ZIZ News.